Obama calls Trump a coward, immediately gets shut down. President Obama was one of the first people to criticize Donald Trump for his idea to create a border wall across the Mexican-American borderline. While conservatives loved the idea liberals hated the idea. But what people didn't realize was the utter hypocrisy of Obama criticizing the border wall. Love him or hate him Donald Trump stands by his words whereas Obama is nothing but a hypocrite. The former progressive president visited Germany to give a speech and see his good friend and progressive ally Angela Merkel, the German chancellor. He was speaking at Brandenburg Gate where the 500th anniversary of the Christian Reformation was being commemorated. In his speech he made a passive-aggressive jab at the president saying, In this new world that we live in we can't isolate ourselves. We can't hide behind a wall. In the eyes of God, a child on the other side of the border is no less worthy of love and compassion than my own child. We can't distinguish between them in terms of their worth and their inherent dignity and that they're deserving of shelter and love and education and opportunity. However, what the mainstream liberal media has failed to report is the fact that at this very moment the president has hired contractors to finish building a wall around his Washington, D.C. home. Look here. This is the same home the former first family plans to live in for the next few years before their youngest daughter Sasha gets ready to graduate. While the Obama family has preached against the border wall labeling it un-American they have no problem building one around their house. The blaring hypocrisy is so obvious. Liberals have argued the idea of the wall is racist and bigoted. Furthermore, that it is the opposite of American values. Their narrative is that the United States should build bridges and not walls across our borders. While Donald Trump has brought to the forefront people who feel we need better border security to protect our citizens from criminal illegal aliens. Despite what the former president had to say Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly had the following to say about the wall, we're not hiding behind a wall. We're constructing a physical barrier backed up by technology and of course the great men and women of the Customs and Border Protection to simply safeguard our southern border. We're not hiding behind a wall, and you can't defend anything by hiding behind something. No matter what President Obama says about the wall it won't change the fact that it is really happening. President Trump is not backing down. The 2018 budget request from the White House includes a request to build 70 miles of the wall in southern Texas. The administration has asked for $1.1 billion in border security funding and $1.5 billion for the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Budget Director Mick Mulvaney said, We are absolutely dead serious about the wall. Keep in mind, you can't just, you don't automatically magically build a wall in the middle of nowhere. The Federation for American Immigration has expressed support for the wall, also, via Breitbart, leading immigration groups like the Federation for American Immigration. Fair, say Trump's border wall is a necessity in the fight against illegal immigration, which has poured into the U.S. For decades, as Breitbart Texas reported, a physical barrier on the southern border is a necessity if our government wishes to meet its obligation to protect the sovereignty and security of the United States of America. Besides helping stem the tide of illegal immigration, it also limits the ability of drug cartels, human traffickers, terrorists, and other national security threats to access the United States from Mexico and the rest of Central and South America. Furthermore, a secure border sends the message that prospective immigrants are expected to follow the rule of law. House Republicans like Rep. Mike Rogers, Ariel, have been vocal in their support for Trump's border wall, proposing legislation with other GOP lawmakers to pay for the wall by taxing illegal immigrants as Breitbart Texas reported. Rogers said his legislation is simple, saying in a statement that anyone who sends their money to countries that benefit from our porous borders and illegal immigration should be responsible for providing some of the funds needed to complete the wall. The president has no intention of backing down from his campaign promises to build a wall. All his statements and that's of his agents indicate that fact. With a Republican majority in Congress and the Senate, the likelihood of border wall funding being passed is highly likely. Despite the high level of backlash from liberals, all evidence indicates this is a good idea but liberals would rather see the president fail than watch this country succeed. While the president is getting things done Obama is busy being a hypocrite but that doesn't seem to be any different than what he has been doing for the last eight years. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.